U.S. President Barack Obama's Mandela Washington Fellowship Initiative brought 500 of Africa's brightest minds to America this year to learn new skills and new experiences. Among them was Rwandan-born Jean Bosco Zeiman. His idea to compost household trash into cleaner cooking fuel for poor families has won him several international innovation awards. VOA's Paul Diho has more. Okay. 21-year-old uh, Jean Bosco Nziimana is the founder and CEO of Habona Limited, a Rwandan startup trying to address the lack of electricity in his rural village of Kitabi. He is part of a new breed of young African innovators trying to change Rwanda's image. I have a company back home called the Habona Limited. It does a lot of work regarding waste management, uh, whereby we collect waste and after collecting the waste, we use them to produce affordable and environmentally friendly products uh, in the form of uh, biomass briquettes. Jean Bosco's vaccination with biogas started when he was a young boy and his vision to create a biogas plant that can transform organic waste into flammable gas that can be distributed to the local population for their energy needs. He's partnering with the government to collect household trash, which he then sells as cleaner, cheaper source of cooking fuel for poor families in Rwanda. I grew up just thinking about what I can do for my family. So I came up with the idea of taking advantage of waste and use them to produce uh, these kind of fuels, which are actually better for the lives of people. In his village, he's just a regular guy. In fact, very few people know about his innovation that is generating a buzz on the international scene. Jean Bosico was crowned last year as the winner of the Africa Innovation Prize and also recognized in 2014 as a top young entrepreneur in Rwanda. Being recognized as the top young entrepreneur of Rwanda was very, very good for me because, you know, it showed me that I'm doing meaningful things. It showed me that, uh, you know, what I do is really impactful to the community and uh, it gave me some sense of, like, uh, motivation. For a rising biogas, a firm like Carbon Limited, partnering with the right people in the business can definitely go a long way as he plans to construct a biogas plant in his native country. While here in the United States, Jean Bosco attended Northwestern University for six weeks as part of the Yali Fellowship. Dr. Mavi Norman served as a peer collaborator for Jean Bosco. Bosco is an amazing, amazing young gentleman. Um, since I met him about six weeks ago, he's just shown to be a very serious, a very focused, very diligent, um, very charismatic young man, um, and I'm certain that he is going to make some serious strides in Rwanda, but even beyond um, throughout Africa. Despite his early success, the young entrepreneur is focused on perfecting his innovation. He attributes his accomplishment to hard right. work. Yeah. What does success mean to you? Uh, yeah, when people look at me, they say this young man is successful, and they say, you know, he has won a lot of prize, he has done this, but that doesn't mean success to me. For me, success is what I do to, to promote my society. Success means uh, what I'm doing, how I'm working hard at my company. The full implementation of this project will enable his company, Habona, to distribute biogas and biofertilizer to more than 500,000 households. For a young man whose dreams are big, the sky is the limit. Paul Ndiho, VOA News.